Hey guys, it's Jasmine here. So I just got my package. I'm just going to do a quick little unboxing. Don't worry, I'll do an actual like swatch video and stuff later. Sorry, my hair is a mess. Just came back from school. Just got this. I got this. Let's open this baby up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It still has the plastic on it. But I'm just going to leave that on for now because I don't have time to like do anything. But okay, and I got my samples here. Oh my gosh. It's even more beautiful. Oh my gosh, in the store it looked actually disgusting, but this looks so beautiful. I'm so excited, but I don't want to swatch it now. Because I'm going to go to work soon, but I will swatch them for you as soon as I come home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See you guys later. Hey guys, so it is now many, many hours later, so now I'm going to do... The swatches and my review of this palette. First impressions. First impressions, oh my god. I'm actually so excited. I've never bought anything online before. And I did it. I use... And this palette is $83 in Canada. Don't know how much in the States, but this is the palette. And I did not spend $83. I had a gift card and I had the 20% on VIB. Something like I got my friends. And yeah, so it ended up being like 50 something dollars. So yeah, here it is guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it has a little plastic sheet on it for protection. So yeah, so this is a close-up of these colors. Can we just, just take a minute and take this in? Alright, so now I'm going to swatch them. And I will have the, um... Names on the screen. Oh my! I keep winking in this eye. I don't. I don't know. I had a little um, appointment today, and they shoved the camera up my nose, so this eye is a little like a little off. <laughs> okay, so let's. Oh, so excited. Okay, let me start. So this one here is Dubai. It is kind of a brownie with gold flecks in it. Kind of a brownie, almost greeny, like a dark chestnut brown color with little flecks of gold in it. This one is Fling, and it's a bright metallic -y pink. It's so beautiful. Oh my, oh, oh, this is going to look so beautiful on the lid. Okay, then we have 24 karat, or 24K, and this is a super, like, this is a yellowy gold, and it is, oh, look at that brightness. Oh my gosh. Like, this is actually, like, chunky, chunky uh, gold. Like, I don't know if you can wow can you see it guys no okay so it's okay uh you can kind of see some chunks in there sort of yeah it was gold oh my goodness let's just spread that out a little bit more evenly but wow look at that this is another one of the chunky glittery ones that are just so beautiful Ooh, i just love that shine this one is trust fund Oh, did you see that little flake just fell off? But see how chunky it is? It was like, sorry, I already wiped it away. But anyways, when I first swatched it, it was like pretty chunky. This is what it looks like. So this is like your typical, like, well, not, not typical, trust, because it's that, that, like, chunky one. But it's like, um, bronzy, just the typical bronzy shade, but not the typical bronzy, like, texture. Is, is that even what you say, texture? It's funny, because this color, Trust Fund, in stores like i was swatching it and in every single palette i swatched it because i i saw it at a bunch of different stores and i swatched it you could not swatch trust fun and i even got my makeup done at sephora and this girl could not take this thing out of the palette it was like stuck in there i have no idea why but i think it had to be new or something but like my new one is fine to swatch but the other ones that were in this store that were all like touched up and everything were just not not working we have angelic and guys just 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 watch oh, oh my gosh <laughs> okay so it's like a pink and then with like gold in it like with 
a ton of gold in it oh my gosh I've never seen a color like this I don't own a color like this so it's like pink and then like gold oh my gosh can you even I can't even I cannot even we have hashtag blessed and this one's like a, a darker kind of bronzy shade oh and it's nice and metallic -y. I don't know like no, I was gonna say like coffee like no it's like a brown a metallic brown but not a typical brown like a I don't know brown here's the color you you decide this one's hashtag blessed it's moon dust and let's just boop oh wow okay <laughs> wow, wow these blend unless I just have more on my finger but like these like it's spreading out so much okay this one's like uh kind of a I don't know it almost has a tint of brown in it but it's a lighter shade with like a little tint of brown but not really oh it's looking really gold on my hand like it just looks like a nice soft gold is it yellowy yeah a little bit yellowy but I think it's a lot softer than uh 20 well 10 million times softer than 24 karat but yeah this is like a soft goldy light goldy shade yeah there you go okay now for all the mattes so that was all the shimmery sparkly colors now for all the mattes first one here is bossy oh that was bad I'm sorry okay this first one here is bossy I'm not really sure if you can see a little bit patchy but I know when you it's not it's not patchy it's just because of my bones they're really yeah and it's a matte shade so it's not it's not creamy it's not like a creamy matte shade but this is like the color here so this one's bossy it's kind of like a brownie plummy shade it's very beautiful and this will be such a nice color in the crease guys oh my goodness oh my goodness this next one is flamingo and this is a very bright pink I am not sure when where how I'm gonna wear this but I will try for sure it's like a really bright like Barbie pink Barbie pink now we have shy and this is kind of a taupey a really light taupey color I'm not sure how this is gonna look on me it's probably just gonna look white I don't know actually no in person it kind of looks kind of pinky if you can kind of see that kind of like a pinky a really light pinky shade but there it kind of looks like a taupey pinky shade right there shy right here that's what it looks like bang bang this next shade it's called bay and this one's just like a white creamy shade just looks like that wow it looks a lot brighter on camera actually uh, it's not a white it's more of a cream for sure but I'm not sure if I will ever use this color I don't really use colors like this but maybe one day maybe actually I won't say that I won't say that because I will use it because this palette is beautiful then we already did moon dust and now we have black truffle so this one just a black I'm not gonna swatch this because it's gonna wreck actually I'll swatch it at the end let's go over here because it's just gonna wreck the other colors so now we have ooh sandalwood ooh sandalwood ah oh, it's really close <laughs> to my skin shade but it oh my gosh it looks like a really oh okay you kind of see it there uh, okay this will be like a really nice transition transition shade you can kind of see it there but it pretty much blends into my hand on um, here I don't know if you guys can see just that strip right there but yeah it's actually a lot darker in real life it's like the perfect like kind of light brown transition shade almost a bit orangey it looks very very nice let me show you in the palette to see if it shows up differently this one here it's called sandalwood Oh, that's a really nice transition shade. I am ready to use that. I really just want to make a tutorial and just use like every single color in the palette, man. Because they're cute. <gasps> oh my gosh. This one here. <gasps> this one is henna. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my god oh my gosh this looks so beautiful and the crease just peeking out oh my goodness why do i get so excited over makeup 
because it's beautiful. Come on. So now we, oh, interesting name for this one. But oh, oh, oh. it's called Man Eater. Anyways, um, look at this. Beautiful pink. Oh my gosh, everything looks so nice. It's like the perfect pinky shade. It's like not too out there, but again, add a little just splash of color. Splash. Did you see me spit? Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I get so excited. I can't wait to use these guys. This is the first time I'm swatching every single one. I've only swatched obviously like the gold ones because that's what I go to first. But these matte shades though. Oh. And then we have, oh we have Coco. We have a nice dark brown shade. It's called Coco. It's funny, the C, the C-O-C-O-A. I like to call it Cacao. Even though it's cocoa, cocoa, or is it cocoa? Cocoa? No, it's cacao. Yes, we have cocoa here. And this is your average uh, brown, dark brown shade. It's beautiful. Oh, all these brown shades. Oh my gosh, you can make so many looks. I can make an all. The possibilities are endless. Oh my gosh. I haven't had a new Sephora palette in so long. It's just making bit syrup. Oh my gosh. So this one's cacao. I'm just kidding. It's cocoa. C-O-C-O. -C -O. We have suede. Oh my gosh. I love that name. I love suede. Oh my gosh. I love the suede and I love the name suede. Like the actual suede. Like you know what suede is? Like the fabric. And then this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. So this is a gray. Oh my gosh, I've never owned a gray. <gasps> I have to use this now. Oh my gosh. I can't stop. I can't stop. Look at that. It's a nice gray. I just want to make a look tonight, but you know what? It's late. Ugh. Anyways, I'm probably going to do <laughs> There's something wrong with me, guys. I, honestly, so this one is suede. Um, It's a really nice um gray shade. Oh my gosh, I've never had a gray. I can't believe I've never had a gray. But I was like, what do I need a gray for? But you know what? I'll find a, a way to use a gray, okay? Okay, now our, bla our, our black one. Our last one is black truffle, guys. Get ready. So let's see how this black is going to be. Is it going to be a good black or is it going to be a bad black? Because there are bad black eyeshadows, honestly. Okay, this one's an okay one. This one's an okay. It'll work for your eyes, but as a swatch, eh. Eh. But it still will look good on your eye. Trust me, it'll do, it'll, it'll make, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, guys, so final thoughts on this palette is that I love it. Sorry, I moved the camera a bit, but I love this palette. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I honestly think it's worth the $83. I mean, it has... It says here, it says three ready to layer textures, deep matte, 3D metal, and pressed pearls. So yeah, these are definitely the 3D metal ones, and the pressed pearls are probably like these ones here, and then the mattes, of course. Honestly, I have never, like, this palette I love, uh, not every single shade. I love every single shade except for 24 karat, just because it's a gold it's a yellowy gold, and I don't really like yellowy golds, but I'm pretty sure I can make it work somehow. But anyways, I have not found a palette that I've loved this much in so long. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but this is absolutely amazing. I would definitely recommend it because, guys, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like, I was thinking of getting this or the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but as soon as I saw these, these colors here, I was like... Sorry, Anastasia. But if you want a cheaper option, get that one because it's the rose gold type thing. Even though it doesn't have any of these 3D metals or whatever, get it if you want to have a rose gold palette. Like, I picked this palette because I really wanted a rose gold palette and some bling bling on the top. And I'm really sorry that I haven't been making videos in a while. I have been really, really busy. And I will try to post videos when I can, but I honestly cannot guarantee anything now so yeah so i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one. Oh, thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and bye